right. Is that 2011 4x4 AT37G? Quick walk around. Get the bucket ran for you. It is 4x4. Four four. Here's your 4x4 four four shifter. Uh, let's see. E brake on. Oh, we'll get you the miles and stuff here, too. Info. Reset. There you go. 196, 705. thing back here. It was on. Tires on driver's side. Driver's side front. Peter. back on the passenger side have somebody run it here for you real quick get on back so we can get a shot of it zoom out there we go that worked we got some big power lines back here so we got to run them over here by the fence Does fully rotate. Storage in here. Looks like they had an inverter set up in here at one point. It's still rotating that boom all the way around. It does fully extend as well. Bucket does tilt. It does have swivel up there at the bucket as well, along with all the controls at the bucket. Um, looks like it was used for electrical work. Hey, extend it! There we go. So it gives you a full 42 foot worth of work height with that fully extended. There it goes. Before he cradles that, we do have a fiber wheel here as well. So you can pull stuff out, got a little gate for it to come through if you're pulling a cable. Really nice ladder rack over here on this side as well. Everything just cradles down real nice right there. It's got its own spot for everything. It does have LED lights inside all the cabs. Now I'll hop up in the bucket here and run it for you as well from the bucket itself. Thank you, Peter. Got more stuff in there. And it looks like you got a bunch of lights. More lights there. Let me jump up in the cab here, or in the bucket. We got some rain. Let's see if there's a uh, it's dry enough. Standard pistol grip controls. Switch it to the upper. Uh, extra storage in here too. Uh, a bunch of something. Twist 
everything from here works really well. It's windy. Got us a good little 35 mile an hour gust through us today. have a cover in there as well so nice to have there it is man 2011 4x4 f550 pop the hood for you real quick too uh, it is missing the radio i don't know why we got three of these trucks from the same contractor all three of them missing radios there's a go light controls all this stuff's just down here. And then EPTO. And then there's your 4x4 shifter. Gauge cluster. Shifting seeking the miles again. Yeah, I think it was 190, 196.705. Pop the hood here. And there's your 6.7 liter engine. Overall, really good shape. We've never had an issue out of this contractor's trucks. When they bring them into us, they're always in really good shape. So. Like it was set up for a winch, so you got got it set up for it. Not one in there now, but. But that's it, man. If you got any other questions on this truck, just give me a ring and uh, I'll be here to answer them for you.